Hello there, and thank you for watching. Has this ever happened to you? You have a Swift file on your computer, be it a game or be it a website, and you want to go and work it, and for some reason you get this error message. Oh my god, what the hell is this? Why is it not working? So you think to yourself, what the hell is this? You read here, Adobe Flash Player has stopped a potential unsafe operation. What? And you think to yourself, what safe operation? It worked yesterday. What you have to do is this. This is how you fix the problem. Um, it took me a long time to figure this out, but if you click on settings, you're going to go to Adobe's website. And in Adobe's website, you get this console. And here are all the settings that uh, control your Flash Player or the Swift file that you want to uh, be able to communicate you know by clicking on the buttons and having it to do to complete its action alright so here is the console and here are the global security settings what you have to do is wherever that Swift file lies be it on the C drive uh, D drive you're gonna have to enable that drive inside here so what you do is you click on locations right add a location you browse for the folder in this case I'm going to browse for the folder not the file because if you browse for the file it will just allow the one file to go out and communicate right but if you browse for the folder it's gonna allow anything in that folder or drive to be able to communicate so in this case for later on in life so let's click for browse and uh, you choose your drive that you want to be in and in this case my drive that I have that Swift file is is in G now I highlight the whole drive and I click OK now you see in the securities tab the G is in the is in the trust so what we'll do is we'll click always allow any Swift files that are in G drive to be able to communicate to the internet or to be able to do and execute any commands and that's how you do it and then we go back and see if the Swift file works now remember if you have the Swift file running in the background what you have to do is you have to turn it off and restart it again in order for this to be implemented alright so let's try alright executed the Swift file that I wanted which is the Skylar Group Limited uh, website which is an awesome contractor by the way I'm going to pitch um, these wonderful guys so thank you Skylar Group for allowing me to use their uh, Swift file okay so here we are and now remember the beginning of this I wasn't able to uh, to communicate to the internet so let's see what happens now I'm going to click on testimonials and BAM there it is here we are now the Swift file is able to communicate which is awesome that's exactly what we wanted to do so now I'm able to surf the internet without fear without any problem I know it's a pain in the butt because before it uh, it wasn't an issue but because now we have these new flash settings and, and considering under the circumstances there are people there that are manipulating flash players so that they can steal stuff from you and whatnot and uh, viruses it's the days of untrust and that's why we have these security settings so if you trust the swift file or the flash file that you got then that's how you enable it to communicate to the internet I hope that this has been a um, help because uh, it took me a long time. If you don't know what you're doing, man, you can really wreck that damn settings. But that's how you do it. Take care. Thank you very much for watching. Bye.